guys, uh, this is a, uh, a minus 80 freeze. Let me take this top off. Uh, this is used for laboratory use. So, uh, this is inside of the freezer. Now, there's no fans or nothing in here. It's all, uh, I guess, convection, what's the right word? Once the evaporator gets cold, which is uh, right here, these walls, it's like a plated freezer. It's not like a cold plate, but the tubing is running around this evaporator. We call that a tank. So, that's the evaporator. And that's the freezer. That's how long the freezer is. These are model number. They got thermo. So, uh, basically, what's wrong with this freezer? That digital readout. You got two compressors here. This is called the second stage. And how we know it's the second stage? Because we have an oil separator over there. Get some light in there. That's your oil separator, right? So if you follow your tubing. Always check your tubing. It goes back into this compressor. So your second stage always has the oil separator. Most of the time. With this manufacturer. Now over there is another compressor. We call that the first stage. Well it's pulling 45 amps lock rotor. So we're going to have to change that compressor. Now, the first stage usually has full 4A in it, and that's most of your liquid phase refrigerant. You got to filter dry here. That's not going to be a hard, uh, hard job because the freezer, well, you can move it from the back after you take this panel off. The main boy is your second stage. That has uh, R508 and propane usually in that and we got uh, see that type of oil is in there and that's your model number on the compressor so uh, we got an order from the manufacturer and these are Copeland compressors They're about a half horsepower compressor these are your condenser fans One's a cooling fan and one's a condenser fan. Well, both of these are serving as a condenser fans. And there's your condenser. And I'm not going to take this off. I'll take this off later. But basically you see both compressors come into this uh, plug. And you got a circuit board with two relays that solder to the board. You got some alarm relays and all that good stuff. And that's your uh, display board with a uh, plug and play deal. And there's a battery for backup alarm. And this is more of your plane freezing. There's another, uh, probably a voltage, voltage monitor board there. And basically, uh, this panel comes off. And there's a one off switch, a breakaway cord. In case you have to move the freezer. Um, there's the compressor in the back. And that's where if you want to add an alarm system. And when the freezer goes on alarm, it will notify you. You do a remote analog output communication. And that's it, man. So, uh, we're going to change that first stage. Like I said, it's not going to be too bad. And uh, we may not put it on the lift, but we probably will. And also, uh, the air filter goes air filter goes in there. 
has a cold. There's the air filter there. Almost scientific. We'll go back over this once we get it running. You can also lock the freezer. That's it. Take care.